Hello, welcome to Blame It on the Draw. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a deck profile on Steel Swarms. Now, this is an extremely slow deck and is way too hard to actually make it spammy because of the meta how it is today. But let's go for the monsters and I'll show you guys how fast it can go. First things first is Steel Swarm Hercules, which basically cannot be special summon or anything else. It requires three Steel Swarms to tribute summon to his normal summon and cannot be normal summon set. And once per turn, you can pay half of your life points and you can destroy all monsters in the field, if I'm not mistaken, this is, or all other cards. Uh, and the other one says uh, Steel Swarm Longhorn. Uh, once per turn, this card is tribute summon, you got tributing a Steel Swarm monster. You can pay 1,000 life points to target one monster in the field and destroy that target. Really good for removal. And next we have Steel Swarm Gerastag. Gerastag is basically all the same with tribute, but you can target one card of your opponent controls and you can destroy it and... They're all basically do the same, and they got a tribute plus do a cost. Steel Swarm Moth here says that when this card is tribute summoned by tributing a Steel Swarm monster, you can pay 1,000 life points to target up to two cards your opponent controls, return their targets to the hand. Of course, I wish it was non targeted removal, but that does not exist in really old decks, so how unfortunate. Steel Swarm Mantis it says when this card is tribute summoned by tributing a Steel Swarm monster, you can pay 1,000 life points to select one Steel Swarm monster from your graveyard and special summon it. This is your quote unquote spam which of course it's not really the, the spam because there's no such thing as spamming in this deck and you have evil swarm karakian uh or i don't really know but basically this card what it does is you can use it to special summon itself to the grave or another seal swarm plus you can recycle uh the, the dude is really good to do if you i would tell you the effect but it's really freaking long and if you want them really long well you know just read it and this one basically what it does is tribute summon you can just special summon another steel swarm monster for directly for your deck uh which is level four or lower you can still you can special summon itself if it's used for a tribute summon and then this one great keeper basically what it does if a steel swarm used for a tribute summon uh you can use this one for uh you can do a no, another extra normal summon uh besides what you've done and then this one sting what it does is for uh for you to to send uh, to target one of your uh of your opponent's um ritual fusion or synchro monsters on the field and destroy the targets and you have steel sword gnome gnome what it does is special summon uh, it is treated as two tributes instead of one which is really good so you can use stuff like double summon and he's like one of the best in there uh compared to the rest then you have three steel swarm cells steel swarm cells uh the thing is this one is basically a special summons from your hand and you can only use it for the tribute summon and nothing else so make sure you use it correctly you have dark Greffer. dark Greffer basically is going to be the one who's going to be using you to dump more cards directly from your deck to the grave <clears throat> and you have armageddon knight armageddon knight being the one that uh is dumps again from your deck to the grave and uh yeah so so basically this is uh this is it for the monsters if i'm not mistaken now we go for the spells and we have run three ties of the brethren ties of the brethren um is great for spamming uh you can use almost like literally all of the monsters that are shown in there um that are like level four or lower and especially someone directly from your deck with different levels with the same type and that is what ties of the brethren does this is basically your spammer and of course a really good card of it all and then next up we have uh three allure darkness i am so sorry for the shaking camera i we did not notice that when we were recording and of course uh you know you uh, and then you have double summon double summon basically what it says you can double summon once again during your turn only the main phase and allure darkness uh, is draw two and banish one dark monster from your hand and then rod rivals basically is double summon but it's a quick effect and it does the same effect as double du double summon but during your battle phase which is really good and uh, <clears throat> you'll send you to use it. But Recording Nightmare, it recycles two of your uh, dark with zero defense monsters from your grave. They're going from your grave to your hand. So he's your recycler. And you have one Monster Reborn. Of course, Monster Reborn being a generic special summon from any player's graveyard. And uh, that's the one that's going to be actually enabling you more combos in there. And Reinforcement of the Army, uh, searching you things like Armageddon Knight and the other one that has to be Warrior. Uh, mostly it's just going to be Armageddon Knight or Dark Greffer. And you have Infestation Epidemic. Of course, all fears all in is Swarm. Uh, Elf Swarm monsters you could control is unaffected by, by uh, spells and stuff like that. Lose one turn is a very good continuous trap card. What it does is basically if you control no tribute summon monsters, your opponent has your effect negative if they control special monsters and infestation uh basically it's just gonna be your mulligan uh taking one l swarm monster directly from your hand back into the deck and then draw one card and it's just gonna be mulligan and that is it for the traps and for the spells and now we go directly for the extra deck and uh yeah guys so first things first we got evil swarm Ophion, which is one of the evil swarms that is really good Ophion is gonna be their searcher for any of the evil swarms uh spells and traps evil swarm behind is gonna be the one that's gonna be um basically doing a big eye um and we're going to be run only one Bahamut. Oh, 
him. And we have Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon. Dark Rebellion, this is gonna be your beater. Basically, you're gonna be summoning. Uh, you, can, you guys can literally run any generic rank 4 you want. But of course, this is my list. So, Karagon on Antiluminescent Knight. Um, you know, two level fours, blah blah blah. Really good. It targets it. What it does is just negate it, destroy it, or something like that. Time Thief, Redoer. Everyone knows the Time Thief. Basically, stealing your opponent's top deck card uh, each time in the standby phase. So, that's gonna be awesome. And then, Tornado Dragon, destroying two spell and track cards where your opponent controls or you control. And you have number uh, 101 silent on an arc. On an arc is going to be the one that's going to be enabling you to steal your opponent's monster. Castell, the Sky Blaster Musketeer, is going to be the one that's going to be shuffling one monster your opponent controls or one card of the field if you're brave enough. And you have Evil Swarm Extinction Knight, which this is the one that's going to be destroying the whole board completely if your opponent controls more cards than you, which most obviously would come. Steel Storm Roach is one of the most impressive cards in here, uh, one of the most underrated, but it's a soft monster return for you activate this effect. Not even a monster return. And what it does is basically is uh, just special summoning. Uh, negate the special summons and then abyss dweller abyss dweller is going to be uh the one that's going to be negating things from the grave of course you're going to use the f first effect because you don't have water monsters but it's just negation for the rain and you have an evil swarm uh nightmare nightmare is going to be the one that's going to be using it for uh, stuff that uh, to change battle positions and stuff like that uh and you can use it through the damage step and you have, of course, Beat Cop of the Underworld. Beat Cop of the Underworld is being an amazing card here. Uh, Link 2 uh, from Duel of Power is going to be pre protecting your dark monsters. And you have Wee Witch's Apprentice, uh, Apprentice giving boost to your opponents uh, for, for all dark monsters in the field. And you have the uh, support, which is Steel Swarm Origin. Steel Swarm Origin, what it does basically is uh, um, it obligates your opponent to special summon only when it's going to special summon from the monster zones to where it discard points to and nowhere else, which is good to lock your opponent down through some things. And uh, yeah, guys. That is it for the extra deck, and uh, that's all for them. This is pretty easy to do. It's a really small deck there, and I hope you like it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the like button, hit that like button, your bitch, and I see you guys on the next one. Peace out.